Hey friends, welcome to Freedom Homestead where we are all about life, liberty, and the pursuit of preparedness. I'm Tangi, and today's video is a grocery haul. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that should be mine? Now today I just went to a few places. I went to Aldi, I stopped at Walmart to pick up a couple of things, and I also stopped at a mom and pop shop to pick up something that is available to our area that I am hoping to utilize more often. So without further ado, let me turn you around, show you what I got, and then we'll talk about the weekly meal plan. Okay, scanning the table. And we're gonna start down here with what I got at the mom and pop shop and the things that I picked up at Walmart. Okay, I mentioned that um, I got something that is available to our area, and what I am talking about is low temp pasteurized milk and this is non-homogenized i don't know if you can see it but this still has all the cream at the top this is from a local farm and um yeah i'm really excited to i've bought this before it's just been a really long time i love that it comes in uh glass uh it comes in glass jugs these this is 325 per half gallon i'm hopefully going to start getting this pretty regularly at Walmart, I went to get more of the Cantina tortilla chips. We really, really like these. These are really, really good. Uh, they're 92 cents per bag, so I just went ahead and grabbed four of them. And while I was walking through the aisles, this caught my eye, this tomato creamy soup. It is organic, and it was less than $3 for, um, for one of these. And so I thought we would give this a try. Uh, we like tomato soup. We like it with grilled cheese. And the other day I made um, cheese quesadillas and I thought, man, with tomato soup, that would be super good. Anyway, so I just grabbed a couple of these to have uh, in the pantry for when we decide to do soup and grilled cheese or cheese quesadillas or whatever for supper. I also grabbed a jar of <clears throat> sun-dried tomatoes for a recipe that I'm going to be making for a collaboration, which I will tell you a little bit about here in a little bit. Um, and I could not believe this, you guys. Look what they had at Walmart. I was floored to, to find these. No, I did not buy every single box I they had, although I was super duper tempted. But I didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be a jerk. So I just bought half of them. <laughs> I bought half of them. Um, but yeah, uh, regular mouth lids, 12 of them. And I think these were like two... I don't know, like $2.28 per box. So anyway, I was so thrilled, absolutely beyond thrilled to find those. Okay, so that is everything that I got at Walmart and then everything else I got at Aldi. So starting down here, their bacon was on sale for $2.99. It was 50 cents off, so I got two packages. Their pork sausage is still on sale for $1.49. I bought two of those. Jack has been really enjoying the um, sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins that I've been making him uh, for breakfast. Um, I got some more of this, this um, uncured honey ham. It is delicious. This is whole muscle cuts. Uh, so there's no fillers, um, and it's absolutely delicious. It is a little more pricey. It's about $5. I can feel good about giving this to my family. Uh, then, <laughs> something that we have not eaten in a really long time is uh, beans and cornbread, and I love to put ham steaks in with my pinto beans. So I did grab one of these, it was $3.47. Uh, I got two packages of Colby Jack cheese for sandwiches. Okay, so I grabbed some Skipjack tuna. I don't know that I've ever bought this before, but it was 95 cents per can. It's sustainably caught. And my understanding is this has less mercury in it than the other kinds of tuna. So I thought we would give it a try and see if we liked it. Um, so I just went ahead and bought four cans of that. Uh, I got an English cucumber. I think it was like a dollar, like a dollar twenty. Um, got some more grape jelly and a box of butter. I believe this was $2.89. My daughter really likes this Italian dressing, and I can't remember how much it is. It's like a dollar twenty-five, something like that. Um, I got some organic baby spinach. I'm getting ready to plant some in the garden, so hopefully I won't have to buy it. 
Uh, I got a head of lettuce. Again, something else I'm gonna be uh, planting in the raised beds pretty soon, so we won't have to buy it for a while. I got a pack of paper towels, which we've already gotten one out. And here's something else that we are going to try. Um, I have always seen these loaves of sourdough sliced bread uh, in the bakery section, but what I've never noticed before is this particular one of sourdough bread has three ingredients, flour, water, and salt, just like if I was making it at home. So um, I checked the back and sure enough, it is flour, water, sourdough culture, and uh, sea salt. So anyway, I was very, very excited about that and thought instead of getting the regular sandwich bread that I usually get, um, and since I don't have any sourdough starter going right now, this would be perfect for sandwiches. So we'll give it a try, see how the family likes it. I believe this was $2.99, I wanna say. Um, somewhere around there. So yeah, very excited about that. I had and grabbed a bag of egg noodles uh, in case I decided to make some chicken noodle soup. Grabbed a bag of some shredded mozzarella cheese. <clears throat> I got two blocks of this white cheddar. These are aged white cheddar. Um, and yeah, I've got some plans for this. Uh, I also got some bacon bits for salad. <clears throat> uh, I got a uh, I got a wedge of Parmesan cheese. I have plans for this as well. I got some more English muffins. I got some more eggs. Hopefully we are getting so very close to our chickens laying. I can feel it. But anyway, I just grabbed some more eggs at the store. Okay. Uh, they had ground beef, 7327 ground beef on sale for $1.99 per pound. This is almost a, this is a five and a half pound uh, package. Okay, I got a bag of frozen blueberries. I've been having a hankering for some lemon blueberry muffins. Um, so I got some blueberries. Got two bags of the broccoli florets, frozen broccoli florets. I got another thing of peanut butter. This is gonna go down into our uh, prepper pantry. They had their organic marinara on sale for $1.49, so I bought three jars. Um, I have not tried their delightfully pure uh, creamer. Um, anyway, they had this at Aldi for the pumpkin spice. And if you look at the ingredients, we've got non-fat milk, cream, sugar, natural flavor, which I wish they would tell what the natural flavor is. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would, uh, that we'll give it a try. And then of course, for the rest of the family, I got the regular French vanilla that they like. Um, I've got some artichoke carts. I got two cans of pumpkin. We have some, but I always like having a lot. <laughs> so um, let's see, I got some gala apples. Uh, this time that I went to Aldi, the red skin potatoes were cheaper than the yellow skin potatoes. So I just went ahead and grabbed a bag of the red skin potatoes. Their winter squashes were on sale for 69 cents per pound. So I grabbed two butternut squash and one acorn squash. I got a bunch of carrots. <laughs> I got a bunch of bananas. Uh, let's see, their organic pasta was on sale for $1.05 per box. Uh, even though I just bought some at my Amish salvage store, I've already used a box of it, so I just wanna go ahead and add more. Uh, I, may put, I may put a couple aside and put it in the pepper, pepper pantry, um, but yeah. Uh, $1.05 is a great price. <clears throat> okay, here are some canned items requested. Uh, chicken noodle soup. Jack likes to have these. He doesn't eat them very often. We just keep them in the pantry for the days that he's running uh, late for work and he needs to grab something quick to take for lunch and it doesn't have to be prepared. He can just grab it and go. So I got four cans of chicken noodle soup and four cans of tomato soup. I also got four cans of the uh, cut green beans. Uh, their clementines were on sale for like $2.49, I think. And then here is a seasonal item. Here is some apple cider, and this is unfiltered. So I uh, was like, oh, yes, we must have that. I also like the jug that it comes into. That's really neat. 
Okay, so that is everything from Aldi, Walmart, and our mom and pop shop. The milk, of course, was $6.50. We do not have a uh, food tax in Kentucky. Um, at Walmart, I spent $28 and some change. $3 of it was actually for dog treats that I picked up for Emily, and she bought that. So um, the rest of it was mine. And then at Aldi, I spent, it was like $110 and some change, somewhere around there. So yeah, a lot of great food to uh, keep us fed. So let's talk about what we're gonna be making with all of this delicious food. Okay, friends, sorry, we left our tripod at church. So I've got you sitting up on my plate rack. <laughs> so hopefully you can still see me and hear me pretty good. Um, okay, so the things that we are going to be having for dinner coming up this week. We are going to be having chili, and I have a bunch of pinto beans. I need to make, I need to can some chili beans, and I have a video on that. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up in the iCard above. Super easy, and I love making my own because I can control the spices. Um, also, okay, so we're going to have chili. Um, with the broccoli and the white cheddar, we are going to do um, broccoli and cheese soup, and I'm gonna make some homemade bread to go with it. And the bread that I like to make with soup is, um, it's the no need bread. I got the recipe from Living Traditions Homestead. I will link that in the description box below in case you're interested in how to make it. It is so, so good and super easy to make. It's chewy, it is just, oh, it is the best bread to have with soup. Oh, I mentioned beans and cornbread. That's definitely gonna happen uh, sometime this week. Um, we are also going to have homemade pizza with the baby spinach, some of the bacon, the artichoke hearts, the Parmesan cheese. That is going to be a spinach artichoke bacon pizza and I may throw some of the um, sun-dried tomatoes on there as well um, and then the other pizza will probably be either a taco pizza or a cheeseburger pizza we'll just see what I feel like at that time if I do a taco pizza it's gonna be ground beef with uh, homemade taco seasoning and I might get some black beans and mash them up and smear it and then it'll be sauce salsa shredded cheddar cheese and um, and I think that's probably it. But anyway, and that's really good. Really good with some um, home canned jalapenos. Super delicious. Another night I'm going to make Tuscan chicken. And that is going to be a video for you guys. My friend Amanda over at The Beals is doing a huge Crocktober month. She's invited all kinds of channels, people that you know and love. And uh, she's asked me to be uh, in it as well. So I'm going to do Tuscan chicken. She said there were a lot of requests for uh, crock pot meals that were not soups. And I said, okay, I've got the perfect one. So Tuscan chicken is going to be delicious. Stay tuned for that recipe. Okay, so Tuscan chicken, pizza night, broccoli and cheese soup, pinto beans and cornbread, chili, um, of course, I have stuff for spaghetti and salad. I love having, I always like having, you know, we talk about pantry staples. Spaghetti is a staple at our house. It is one of those things where, like, if my kids say, hey, mom, so-and-so's coming over and they're bringing so-and-so and it's about dinner time, then spaghetti feeds a lot of people. So I love having that kind of stuff. Thinking out loud here, I'm thinking... That sourdough bread, I would like to do a grilled bacon and cheese sandwich and then crack open maybe one of those tomato soups. That would be a really comforting, quick meal. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. God bless. Bye, guys.